all right guys welcome back to my channel uh in this video i'm going to be talking about um the hba's funnel builder tool and how you can build a simple opt-in page for any uh offers that you may have so this is a great tool that um that many entrepreneurs are using to build their uh, funnels website pages uh, opt-in pages and things like that but in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to create just a simple opt-in page a simple landing page um, for people when they click on your offer your uh, your website link you can direct them to that page so they can input their information like their name and email all right, so we're going to be jumping right into it. But before we begin, if you enjoy this kind of content, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the like, you know, button and hit the bell notification so you won't miss an update. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this HBA uh, Funnel Builder. Um, the Funnel Builder is part of the Home Business Academy. It's one of their products that they have. Um, they have several different products, but we're going to be focusing on the Funnel Builder tool today. So right now I'm inside my um, HBA uh, back office account, so I can access my, my Funnel Builder tool if I go up here. Uh, so I'm going to just hit Funnel Builder. Actually, I'm going to hit Funnel Builder here, and it, that's the actual training. So excuse me. So when you hit that, it'll actually bring up a part here where you can actually hit the tool um, to log into the tool. So right now we are into the, we are inside the tool. So what we're going to be doing is again creating a simple opt-in page, a simple landing page, just like something similar to this, but um, not exactly this. So we're gonna. You can actually start by. Let's go down here. Um, because when it when you're when you first get this product, you're not going to have what you see here. Um, all these pages, these are all pages that I actually created myself. So, what you the first one of the first thing that you'll see is add a new step. All right. So what you want to do is hit add a new step. Uh, if you want to separate your uh, funnels or your pages, you can hit section label and name it whatever you want it to name it. So let's just hit section label right there and we'll just hit, we'll just type demo because these are all going to be demo pages. So we'll just call that uh, demo pages. All right. So now I have my section label. So anything that goes up under here will belong to this to this label here. Now I can easily move this label up, down, wherever I want it to go. So and just like these other pages, you know, I can move them wherever I want them to go. But for right now, we're going to stay here. So we've got a label page. So we're going to add a new step because now we want to create an opt-in page. All right. So. Um, to make things easier, guys, um, we have like templates that you can use for opt-in pages. Just show you real quick, just a few of the opt-in pages that you have an option to use, you know. So there's there's several different pages, several different templates that you can actually use. Um, and these are over here to the left, these are additional pages um, that you can use as well. We have membership pages where you can create memberships and things like that. All right, so let's get back on topic here. So, but what we want to do, we can scroll down here. And if you scroll down on here, you'll see additional pages, you know, different um, other, like uh, other company pages. So, you know, if you're inside those companies, you may be able to use these as well. All right, but we're going to be starting with an empty page um, because sometimes people like to create, you know, the pages themselves. And what better way for you to learn how to use this system and build pages is to do it yourself. Follow along with someone who has done it before. All right. So um, when you add a new step, it's going to bring up this box. So we're going to call we're going to name this page. So we're going to call it um, we're just going to call it demo. OK, um, so you can change this this page URL if you want to. I'm just going to leave it as demo, but you can change it to whatever you want. 
<clears throat> this is the page template that we're using, blank page. You're given public access. Um, here is when you can actually password protect it or uh, allow this page for members inside your membership group access to those people only. Um, right now we're going to, since this is a since this is a public page and it's a landing page that we want the public to see, we're going to leave it as public. So we're going to go in and hit add. I'll go over here and see if this. Actually, I'm going to go over to my widgets tab over here. And I'm just going to add a heading. And so let's say. HPA Funnel Builder using HPA Funnel Builder without any technical skills. All right, so so right now we can um, go ahead and adjust this. We can adjust this text to size it up all right we can highlight the text and let's center it and you see how the text is kind of bunched on top of each other let's change the line height that's better um, so I bold it all right so now we can go in and change the background color we can go over here to block and we can change the background color we can add a picture if we want to, but right now I'm just going to keep the page white. All right. Um, we can highlight this again. We can change the font, change a different type of font. I like uh, this font better. And then we can go in and change the, uh, the size of the font. So I'm just going to play around with that. And I'll probably just adjust this just a little bit more. Now, basically, you have your header. All right, we're going to just move that down just a little bit. So you basically have your header, but you still need an opt-in box. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to widgets, and we're going to we need a form for people to fill out. And these are all your widgets over here. You got your headings, buttons, containers, different things that you can add on your page. So, but we're going to just add a, a form. So, actually, before we add that form, let's add a block. And we're just going to do an empty block. You can use one of these blocks. These are extra additional template, template blocks that you can use. Um, you can check those out at your leisure. You can see it goes on and on, but we're going to use an empty block. And now we're going to input a form. All right. So now you see, let me move this. All right. So now you see this form came up. So what we want to do is we want to edit these fields because we don't need subject and we don't need message. All right. Only thing that I like to do is I like to collect the name and emails. So I'm just going to hit delete for the, uh, for the subject and the other one. All right. So now my fields, now we have name and email. Okay. And so that's what I like to do. Um, so now what I want to do is I really want to, you know, make this box a little bit smaller. All right. And now I can click this box and I can center it. Now it's in the center. Okay. So now we can click this box again. And if you want to, this edit fields is for this information here and this is for the name email and any other fields that you want to add let's just go up here 
if you like if you want to add a different field these are different fields maybe you want to add want them to uh, put their phone number in or maybe you need their address or anything like that so you can custom make your forms the way that you want them to be all right but for right now we're just keeping it simple so there we go and all of this stuff can be redesigned and and things like that um, the way you want see I'm just adding a little extra white between um, the bottom of this text and I'm trying to make it even from the top to the top all right so now we have our box here let's go back to our box so now we want to go to settings okay um, so whatever form that, that you're creating or whatever product that you're um, that you're having people opt into out for the form name I would kind of keep it relatively um, uh, relatable to that if not the same name um, so just for this one um, let's, I'm just gonna say uh, HBA funnel builder all right so anytime someone Ops, put their name and email into this form um, this is what the form name will be and if I want an, an email a notification sent to my email I will put my email address there I will put my email address here all right so now we can really go in and we can change what this button says um, uh, let's just say um, I want to learn how all right so I just put that there and as you in a minute once this box closes you'll see this text in this black box change here all right so the next thing that you want to do um, is you want to where do you want people to go after they hit the submit button where do you want them to go um, I don't have a page set up yet so we're gonna not mess with that yet so we're gonna come back to that but you want to link wherever you want to send them all right and then um, if you have I use get response but if you have an autoresponder you want to connect your autoresponder to, to the funnel builder tool and then you can actually click your autoresponder settings and attach it to a particular list that you have in your autoresponder I'll cover a lot of this stuff in another video, but um, I just kind of wanted to show you just a simple way to create an opt-in page. All right, so we're gonna come out of here because we're pretty much done with this, but we gotta come back and um, connect our pages. All right, so right now, um, basically this page looks pretty pretty boring. Um, so you you know you can change the colors here like the background let's just say I want it to be a kind of a yellowish color maybe not the best color but let's just say that All right um, we're gonna change you can change part of the text let's see. that box is way up there at the top so I'm having a hard time seeing it so we're gonna Create a simple op-ed page without any technical skills. All right, and we're going to change this text color to red as well. All right, so you can play to play around with this, play around with the size and how it looks to you. Um, I kind of like that where that is right there. And then what I'm gonna go down here is I'm gonna I might change this background to to something else as well. But let's let's fool around with this. Uh, let's edit this box first. Let's edit our form. So we want to go to settings now. Oh, excuse me. We want to go to styling now because we've just done settings. So in this box with the styling, we can we can um, mess with the labels and the fields. And we can mess with the button. <clears throat> so for the label in the fields, um, I'm gonna keep it the same color, but <clears throat> um, I do want to. Let's see. We can change the font. I'm gonna keep it the same. We can change the font size. This is all the labeling. 
So I'm going to just take it down to a 20. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to, I clicked out of that. So now I want to check out the button. So I think I'm going to change the button to a red color. All right. So I changed the color of the button. Um, you can put a border around it. We'll leave the border black. We can change the border size down in here or the radius of the border. <clears throat> All right, so now we want to take a look at the text. So I want to change my text because I want to make the text a little bit bigger. And I think I'm going to change the font to the same one that I've been using. And let's see his background here. And I'm going to change this. Go ahead and see what this background looks like. Mm. I think I like it. Well, let's see. Yeah. Go back to white. Right. So now you have, uh, I just went with white. So now you can go in and you can add uh, anything here. Maybe you want to add additional text. Maybe it's up under there um, that says, um, it's so easy. That even a seven year old can do it. So I'm going to highlight this because I want it to be centered. And I want to make the text just a little bit bigger. All right, bring this down. <clears throat> now you can add footers or you can add additional text at the bottom or anywhere on this page. Maybe you want to add a photo or something. But, you know, as it being a simple landing page, um, this is basically your simple landing page. Okay, so now basically you 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 got to have somewhere for them to go so i'm gonna hit save all right so basically this landing page is pretty much complete please don't worry for take for the sake of time i did not go in and you know do all the fancy you know design work i'm just showing you just a simple way for you to create a landing page um now you can go in and fool with it and for the design part you know um all you want you know because that's the thing that that is how you build your skills okay we don't want to do this for you we want to do this with you all right so um so this is like i said this is a basic landing page so what i'm going to do is we can click up here in this box here and it automatically brings up that page in a window so this is what it looks like when somebody comes to that page okay so we're going to go back over here. So basically with, so this is your simple landing page. Now, if you want to create a funnel, because you have to send this, send people somewhere or give them what they opted in for. Okay. So what I would do is I go back over here to funnels, go back down here to add new step, add a new page. And then since we, we have some thank you pages here, so <clears throat> let's see. 
So I'm just going to just grab one of these thank you pages. <clears throat> Do -do. Just take a peek at it. Okay, I'll just use this one. And demo one. We'll just call that demo one. We're going to add this page. Boom. There you go. Now with this, um, you can use this. You can style it again if you want to. You can add photos. You can add different headings. You can, you know, style it however you want. Um, on the video pages, you can go in here and edit videos and input any YouTube video or any um, uh, video that you have that you want people to see. And then here, say if that person opted into your list and you sent them to this page. Well, now you want them to watch a video, but what else do you want them to see? You know, what else do you want them to see? So you can quickly edit this button here. You can say yes to say if um, an Amazon product or something. I don't know. Uh, so I'm just going to just put a website address here. All right. And so what I did was I put an external link here. And so now I want to open that up into a new tab and hit select. OK, that's I usually open up in a new tab for anything that's outside of the funnel builder. OK, so you can also maybe you want to maybe it's part of a funnel that you want to add here okay maybe it's a phone number and email it just depends on what your end game is and what you want to do with your funnel okay so just for the sake of time I'm not going to go through any editing of this but however I want to save it because I want to show you exactly what happens Basically, when someone comes in here, enters their name and email, their name and email goes to your autoresponder. So now you are building a list of people who are interested in your products. OK, um, so once they enter their name and email, they hit I want to learn or. It should take them to this page, but it won't take them there yet because we have not connected the pages. So let's go back and connect the page. So now there's two ways that you can get back to your funnel pages, the pages that you create in here. You can go over here to funnels. All right. Or you can use these arrows. All right. So this is my opt in page. Now, remember, I told you we were coming back to this because we needed to connect the two pages together because now we have a landing page and a basic opt-in page and we have a thank you page so what we want to do is we want to for the thank you page we want to hit on that next funnel step and we can come over here up under our funnels and connect that page remember that page the second page was demo one so I come over here and connect that page, hit select, click out of it, and hit save. All right, now I'm going to reload this page. Now, once the name and email is sent, or once the name and email, let's just here. All right. Enter my name and email, and it goes to the thank you page, to the page that I had set up for it to go to. Now, your thank you page don't have to be like this. It can be different, um, but it's totally up to you. Um, so that is really how you use the HBA Funnel Builder tool to create a simple opt-in landing page. All right, guys, so you can actually use this for any affiliate program that you might be have that you might have that you're in. So this can be used for any business, any affiliate program. Um, um, it can be used for just about anything. 
Okay, it just depends on your end game. So if you have any questions, um, please feel free to, you know, message me down below, put a comment down below. Um, let me know your questions because I am more than happy to answer your questions because I just think this tool is just worth the price of gold. Um, so if you're interested in this tool, there'll be a link down below this video. Um, if you're interested in starting an online business, um, we have something amazing going on where we're uh, giving people uh, an opportunity to get all the tools, training, and resources that they need to build an online business. And you get this funnel builder tool um, for $25 a month. So if that's something that interests you as well, um, there'll be a link down below this video for that. Um, so guys, I appreciate you taking the time listening and checking out my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, uh, hit the bell notification so you won't miss an update. As I always say, guys, it's our time to be free and it's 2022. It's time for everybody to be free. So let's get it.